Good day, viewers. Walter here. Gonna have to make a lot of changes in my project as we go here. I told you it was just an experiment when we started. Um, you'll recall in a previous video, I designed this lock to hook on the bottom of my tripod. And then yesterday, I designed this flunker to fit in my tripod, which makes this attachment totally redundant. I don't need that anymore. It's, don't, we're going to saw the board off right here and start all over. We're going to try attaching this attachment I made right to the bottom of the board. So all we got to do is hook it on the tripod. The board will still be there. Just won't have all this elaborate do flunkers. I can put a couple bolts in there. Secure that thing down right tight. Now, by going that route, I can slide this light bright all the way up to this end. Put a different block from my camera. I want to be able to get my camera off and on quick. Well, I got this piece of plastic thing to come off a railroad crossing signal light. It's got quarter inch holes in it. No, those are 5 sixteenths. But uh, I'm going to be considering incorporating that into the project. That still would make my camera just about the right height. We're going to stop and back up on my project and go a different route. We're going to saw this off. Eventually, Maybe this project will come to pass and maybe not, but I appreciate all my viewers' support and comments when I, when I do this. That whole thing is a learning process for me as well. I hope you stick with me here. Oh, by the way, um, I recently got over 25,000 subscribers on my channel, and I want all 25,000 of you to know how much I appreciate you. Touches my heart to know that I have such loyal viewers out there. A lot of you watch even when some of my videos don't make a whole lot of sense. I'm proud to know each and every one of you. Let's get on with the project. I want to mount this to the bottom of my board 
It looks like I'm exactly 16 inches wide on the board. So we need to find the center. Close enough to cover my work. Now, I've already made my holes for the board, so I need to put this on the other side. I'm going to move my center mark on the other side of the board. Put this up before I drop it. One of my oldest viewers pointed out to me that I should be using this drill press. But my belt is loose and when I go to drilling it goes to slipping. I think I need a shorter belt. But I don't have time to fool with that. We're going to use a hand drill. Let's see about bolting this booger bear to my board. I hope I didn't get off on my holes. Let's see. We'll get the bolts lined up and put some glue in there. Between the bolts and the glue, we ought to be able to hold it on there. All right, I got it bolted on there. I just need to tighten the screws. Make sure it's still on my mark. Let's just snug it up. Today I do something different. We are making what I call progress. Before I quit today, I'm going to bolt my dewfunker on right there. We'll call Well, my friends, I've made a little progress today. Let's see if it'll hook on there. 
and how she looks. Okay, it's a little bit front heavy. That'll help some when I get it up. <laughs> By Jove, I'm going to need some braces to support the bottom because the wood's a little flimsy. But that ain't no big deal. We'll build a square frame on the bottom of it. And when we get that done, we'll overlap it just a little bit back here. Put a counterweight. Now what I could do is move my camera bracket farther forward. That would that would solve my whole problem. That'll have to be another day. Yeah, I should have mounted my camera weight right in the middle, and I've already glued that booger. I better see if I can get it apart while before the glue dries. <laughs> 